Good morning and assalamu alaikum. This is Tumaya Khalifa with the Islamic Speakers Bureau of Atlanta. And it is our pleasure and honor to welcome you to our morning inspiration this morning. Our format this morning is gonna be a little bit different. We have an amazing mindfulness expert who's gonna lead us with a mindfulness exercise at the beginning and that's Rita Wibler. Then we're gonna hear from our own Tariq Abdul Haq and uh, then we'll wrap up. So today is a little bit different and we're looking forward to this format. Rita. Good morning, everybody, and welcome um, on this lovely Thursday morning in Atlanta. So um, thank you so much for the introduction. I'm just as much of a teacher as you all are, so let's all do this together. Um, and mindfulness practice is about calming the mind or pausing your thoughts for a moment, although they will come back, but to give ourselves a moment of um, breathing, so to speak. So let's just take... Um, three deep breaths together. And I would say, I suggest we breathe in through our noses and out through our mouths. And um, if you could mood yourselves, that's great. So let's take three deep breaths and maybe close your eyes in this exercise. So let's start, one. Two. and three. And you'll notice how your breath becomes a little bit deeper and maybe you're beginning to feel a little bit calmer. So resume, resume your normal breath and just keep that up while we are just going to take a very short journey in our thoughts here. So. With your eyes closed and you're up, you're sitting upright, um, please feel into your feet. Your feet are touching the ground so that you're connected to the earth, which gives us a feeling of being grounded and stable. So feel your feet touching the ground, maybe wiggle your toes. And now feel where your bottom touches the chair gets a little heavier as you focus on that area. Keep breathing normally. And now feel your back touching the back of your chair. If you're sitting in a chair. And now just feel going further up into your shoulders and into your neck and into your head and feel yourself being connected to something, first of all, something bigger than you are. So you're feeling yourself in your environment. It might be your home um, office or wherever you are in your home. Just feel the connection to the physical space you're in, but then begin to feel the connection between with you and others on this call, and then with your family that might still be sleeping or in another room, it might be in another room. And then feel the connection with the larger community that's surrounding you and us at all times, our friends, larger family. And then feel yourself connected to the universe you're all tiny points of light in this big, vast landscape. And our job right now is to make our lights shine and feel the connection with one another. So we'll take another minute or so in silence and then we will wrap this up. So please keep breathing. Right, breathe a little bit more deeply and feel, continue feeling the connection with others.
So take one more deep breath and then slowly open your eyes and take this connection with you into your day today. Be safe. Thank you, Rita. Thank you. Now um, we're all so calm and <laughs> cool. We will be inspired by the words of our own Tariq Abdul Haq. Assalamu alaikum. That was a beautiful mindfulness exercise. I'm only going to share a few thoughts because we've had such tremendous messages this week. Yesterday, we heard from Sheikh Ninawi speaking of the need to believe boldly and that believing boldly that love will conquer fear and faith will conquer fear. We heard from uh, Imam Mansour um, Sabri on Tuesday um, connecting to nature and uh, actually he filmed outside, connecting to nature and our connection to God. How, how does one perceive God? And what's our perception of God? And how does that inform us during this crisis? And we began the week with our teacher, Ustada Zainab Ansari um, from Tennessee, although she's a native Atlantan, speaking of God's mercy and God's mercy and focusing on the mercy of God. So the only thing that I would add today is the verse in the Quran when it says when people encounter a, a disaster or a trial or a tribulation, as it's called, a musib, that the people of faith say, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un, which means verily from God we come. Inna lillah, we belong to God, we come from God. And in a ilahi rajiun, and to him we shall return. This is relying upon God, tawakul alullah. It's relying upon God, putting our trust in God, putting our faith in God, and realizing that we can take precautions, we should strive to be the best that we can in these circumstances. But ultimately, a person of faith takes comfort in knowing and understanding that surely. It is all from God, and to him we do return. So I encourage us all to be mindful, to focus on God's mercy, his love, to be the best that we can during these times, and God willing to let this crisis make us grow so that we are better, better people, better human beings, better neighbors, better family members. And let's also remember to pray for all of the people who are experiencing this all over the world. Alhamdulillah, certainly the praises is for God. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you. I pray you all have a very good day. Imam Tariq, thank you so much. That was very beautiful. Appreciate you being here and, and sharing your thoughts with us. Uh, thank you, Rita, as well. Uh, just a reminder to all our viewers that uh, we will have a recording of everyday session on our YouTube channel. So please check it out. Please. Um, watch it, please pass it on to your friends and family. And uh, we wanna uh, be able to help people deal with the crisis that we're going through today with a positive manner, with digging deep and uh, being able to um, tap into the strength that each and every one of us has inside of them. May you all have an amazing day today and we look forward to seeing you uh, tomorrow, um, the same time and we will be listening to Imam Abdullah Javir tomorrow. Have a great day. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum.